did you guys really expect it to go this big? I think we hoped it would. We knew that we were not alone in being huge Karate Kid fans, that, you know, we all, you know, saw Karate Kid for the first time separately, found each other, and almost everybody that we know loves Karate Kid. So we hoped that if we brought these characters back that we loved so much that it would get the attention of others. And it's been it's been insane to see the reaction, and we're, we're blown away and thrilled that uh, the fans are connecting with it. Same for you guys. I mean, it's just like, this, is this what you expected? It's what we, it, like John said, it's what we hoped, and it's been great because... I think, you know, you get to see that there's not just a couple people, but millions of people that have uh, the same fascination with these characters that we have. So it's been really fun. So the show has this beautiful balance of drama, action, and comedy. How is it possible? I know that sounds like, well, you want me to tell you your whole bag of tricks, but how do you guys manage to do that? How do you guys find it? I mean, the bottom line is we come from the world of comedy, so we spend a lot of time uh, trying to get the biggest laugh and the loudest laugh in the room. So we know that, and we can write that all day long naturally. We also love Karate Kid, and Karate Kid wasn't a fall out of your seat laughing kind of movie. It was earnest, it had goosebumps, it had, you know, fist pump moments, and we knew we could tap into that because we knew how it made us feel. And we write with a little bit of both strengths. We write it earnestly. We know that catching up with these guys years later and the fact that this rivalry is still boiling is inherently funny. And if you use the, the real kind of dirty stuff to lead you to places of comedy, you'll be able to earn it without feeling like anything's gratuitous. And if you lean into what it is to be 30 years on from high school and feel like certain aspects of your life haven't gone the direction that you think they should, there's something real and relatable about that that gets you invested in these characters again. So you guys really kick the action up a notch in this one. My big question is, how do any of those, any of these kids go back to high school after that? Yes. How, how are you guys gonna write out of that one? That's gotta be an obstacle right there. You know, there's so many kids that got in trouble with that. So, <laughs> so uh, we'll just say that you know they can't they can't expel the entire school. So there's going to they're gonna dole out the punishments and there'll be different levels of punishments for everybody and. Uh, and you know it's not going to go without any consequences. Um, well, the same question that the you know the audience asks themselves was, "Whoa, what just happened? You know, how did this happen? This thing was a little powder keg that exploded." And you know, all those questions in terms of how does a school and a community respond to that, uh, we are answering. You know, in season three, and we are going to show you how we answer for that and how this school is going to respond to that and whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, for where they go and how they move forward without something like this happening again. So you guys have dropped a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of Easter eggs. So I'm guessing you guys are planning for a long haul, but is there an end game to this? We, de we definitely have an end game for what we're doing, what we're telling in the story. At the same time, as we're writing, you get inspired by the characters, you get inspired by the actors that we've worked with, and so there are storylines and things that we even thought about that we'd have in season one, they're not even making it into season three. They'll end up later on, they may never happen on the show. So there's certain uh, arcs that we have in mind for our core characters on the show, uh, but that may or may not mean the end of the series. It may mean that the beginning of something new. So, uh, you know, we, the, the short answer though is we do have a plan and we do know where we're going with these characters and how long it'll take to get there is a bigger question and where we go from there is another question. War never ends. Peace is just the love between battles. The real story's only just begun. You wanna finish this? Bring it on.